possibly one of the most important parts of the Bible when it comes to activating your faith. A lesson in the Bible that if you internalize will serve you in good stead from now to the day you die if you internalize the message of Matthew chapter 8. This is one of the most important parts of the Bible in terms of activating your faith, building a faith that works for you and you can use time and time again. It's the part with the centurion. Jesus winds up saying to the centurion after a brief meeting, what does he say to him? He says, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great a faith, no, not in all of Israel. So Jesus says to this centurion, I have not seen as great a faith as, this, as the faith that this centurion possesses in all of Israel. Underscoring what I just told you, that this is one of the most important little passages of the Bible when it comes to activating your faith. Jesus is telling you plain and simple, this is how you have so great a faith that even Jesus hasn't seen it in all of Israel. And what do they talk about? What do they talk about in their brief little meeting? They talk about obedience and understanding the chain of command. Let's take a look. Remember that. Obedience and understanding the chain of command. So let's take a look. Jesus saith unto him, and when Jesus was entered into Cap Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. And here's the most important part. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth. And to another, Come, and he cometh. And to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Here, here it is. Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great a faith, no, not in all of Israel. So why was Jesus so impressed with his faith? And what did they actually talk about? What they actually talked about was the chain of command. I have, a, I have servants under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goes. And this man, you know, come, and he comes. Stop. Forward march. Halt. Turn to the left. Walk three paces. Turn to the right. That's the way the chain of command works in the military. And what God is trying to show you through this particular passage is that is the way that the chain of command is supposed to work in the kingdom of heaven between you and God. It's supposed to be master-servant, unquestioning. Go, open this door, walk in, turn to the left, walk straight. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you start off when you are seeking God's true will in a situation. Remember, the Bible says, in all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. So let's say you're seeking for a new job. You start praying. You start seeking the will of the God. And then when God speaks to your heart, you obey immediately the command that God places on your heart. Get in the car. Drive. Go to CVS. Let's just imagine God said something weird. Go to CVS. Why would I do that? But you think it was God. So you get up and you go and you do it. Someone at CVS. Oh, that's, that's, your, that's your old friend, George, who used to be an accountant for the firm you worked for five years ago. Hey, how have you been? Oh, you know, I'm looking for a new job. Well, well what a coincidence. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. We're actually looking for somebody at my firm right now who you blah, blah, blah. You know how the, you know how the drill goes. How you actually receive from heaven is by understanding the chain of command, by cultivating a spirit of obedience. You in yourself can make yourself, train yourself to hear better what the spirit is telling you to do and do it. 
just like a soldier. Matter of fact, the Bible refers to you often, the diligent Christian, as soldiers of the cross, as faithful servants and soldiers of the cross. The way we perceive how God works in our church today is totally different from how the Bible actually tells you to activate a true and living faith. That right there is one of the most important passages. You can go over the passage 10 times. It will keep revealing the same thing. Understand the chain of command. Uh, someone's under me. I say, go, and he goes. So you start praying. You start seeking the Lord. And you wait until you feel a command, an instruction, an, an urging from God. Do this. Do that. Generally, God speaks in nudges. You walk into a room and you'll feel mysteriously drawn to the book on the corner. Well, what's that? It feels like nudge, nudge, nudge. Go look at it. Go look at it. Obey. Bible calls it the still small voice. Learn to heed it in all situations. Train yourself to hear it more clearly. How do you do that? It's really, really, really easy. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these things will be added unto you. Seek ye first God. Period. Easy. My burden is easy. My yoke is light. Jesus is not a liar. The Bible is not steering you incorrectly. Cultivate the correct relationship to God and it's really, really easy. You can train yourself to hear His voice. You just draw closer and closer to the Spirit. You read the Bible, yes, and you bring a and you worship, bring a spirit of worship into the apartment. And ideally, you pray and you ask God to reveal things to you in the Scriptures before you read the Bible. Then you see how effective you see for yourself. The Bible says, my words are spirit and they are life. You start praying for half hour to an hour before you actually read the Bible. You'll see for yourself that it's, that it's God talking to you. The instructions that he will be giving you will start to become clearer and clearer as you train yourself to hear his voice. But you've got to cultivate a spirit of obedience. And obedience in a, in a military type of obedience where you understand the chain of command. Go here. Okay. Go there. Okay. Do X. X is done. Now do Y. I will. No questions. You don't question people in a military chain of command. That's why it's a centurion. Didn't say Jesus went, you know, the hippie guy came to Jesus. It was the centurion, the soldier, the person who understood the clear chain of command. Instructions are to be followed. Period. That's how you build faith. Why? Because it will, it will start to reveal itself just how clearly those instructions are coming from God. You'll feel the nudging. You feel God's nudging you. Go look at that book. Why go look at that book? Just do it. Okay, now you see the book and you're like, oh, wait a minute. And the title of the book has some sort of relevance to you. And you feel nudge. Open the book. So you open the book. That's how it works. It starts building your faith because one command leads to the next. One thing leads to the next. You'll start actually understanding because God will demonstrate to you by you obedi obediently following his voice and training yourself to hear his voice better just how sovereign he actually is. Now, I've said this in other videos. Very, very, very few people have this type of understanding that God is absolutely 100% sovereign. The Bible refers to him Possibly a hundred times. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Sovereign means completely and utterly in charge. Jesus said, all authority in heaven and earth has been handed over to me. That means everything is under his authority. Only question is, are you going to be under his authority? Everything else is under his authority. You have a choice. Are you going to place yourself under his authority as a centurion? As if you were a centurion or a soldier in his army. Soldiers don't question. Soldiers don't question. Soldiers don't speculate. They do. Walk over there. Okay. Walk that way. How far? Walk that. Now turn right. There you go. Walk forward. How far? That's it. It's very, 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 very simple. But you need to actively cultivate it. Amen.